We're talking about the top 10 emerging technologies uh, here for 2020, the winners and the losers for that matter. Tina Maddox is here with me to go over these. I always love these, these lists, Tina. It's so interesting to compare, you know, who's on the list, who's moved up, who's moved down, or maybe even off uh, for that matter. So let's start here with AI, really making a splash at the top of the list. Absolutely. AI has, this is the third year that CompTIA has done the list. And AI has been on the list all three years, but it's been slowly moving up. It started at number three in 2018. It moved up to number two last year. And this year they decided it ranked first and it, because the opportunities are there for the enterprise to take advantage at long last. And when we talk about, of course, a lot of these, uh, Tina, you know, this is technology as we talk about every day on, on Tech Republic, a lot of these with, with AI, IoT, 5G, and things like that. So, uh, you know, naturally not surprising to see these at the top of the list, but talk a little bit about some of those that did rank really high, uh, you know, behind a AI, specifically 5G and IoT. Right, and 5G came in second. And, you know, some of the ways that 5G helped with the enterprise, I mean, there's the low latency, the intelligent power consumption, high device density, um, all of those make it crucial for business. And then IoT, which was number one last year, moved down to number three on the list this year. And that's Internet of Things, of course, and it's all of the different connected devices. And it's not that IoT isn't still important. It's just that AI and 5G are going to be playing a bigger role than they have in the past. So it, since this is an emerging technology, technologies list, you can't always be the number one emerging technology because, you know, there's new kids on the block, so to speak. Um, serverless computing, that uh, moved into the fourth spot, and um, they call that function as a service, as, you know, an alternative to serverless computing. But this helps um, organizations build applications at scale in real time. And then biometrics also stepped onto the list in fifth place. And then, of course, AR and VR, that's on the list. So there's, there's quite a bit um, there. So. Yeah, and, and definitely AR, VR, it seems like, uh, you know, we think that they, it, the, it's unbelievable what the technology can do. And just when you think that they've reached a top, there's more and more that it's added to the list in terms of uh, the function there. So talk a little bit about uh, quantum too, because I think this is really interesting. You were telling me off camera about, um, you know, how it's been on the list, off the list. So, so expand on that for us. Absolutely. Quantum computing was on the list in 2018, and they took it off the list last year. And it wasn't that it wasn't still an emerging technology last year. It's just that they felt like the business applications were too far away for companies to really reach for it in, you know, the next few months, but now there's more opportunities. Um, and what quantum computing can do is, I mean, it's really pretty much the engine that will drive our ability to process and analyze big data. And it's the key to leveraging machine learning and the power of AI. So it kind of ties in with AI being number one. You've got quantum computing, you've got AI, they work together. Um, one of the interesting ones that made its first appearance on the list is natural language processing, and also known as NLP. And that's a field of AI that enables computers to analyze and understand human language. You've got both speech to text um, and you've got text to speech and that's really important as well. So interesting. And, and uh, of course, as you mentioned with quantum being on and off the list, talk a little bit about uh, some of the things that have been on in the past, but just didn't make it again this year. 3D printing, it dropped off and they made a note to say it doesn't mean that 3D printing doesn't have any value. Right. It's just no longer considered an emerging technology and doesn't have the oomph that it once did. Um, another technology that dropped off the list were dr drones. Drones are no longer on the list. Um, two more that are on the list that we didn't mention yet, blockchain and robotics. Those have been um, on the list and they're back on for this year. Yeah, and I think one of the important things, Tina, too, and, and you did touch on this, is to say that just because something isn't on the list anymore, uh, you know, drones or 3D printing, I mean, we've heard so much about 3D printing just with, uh, you know, during this pandemic in terms of making ventilator parts and things like that. It's not because the, the technology isn't uh, important anymore. It's just, I guess, something we're just using more often. It's not a considered emerging anymore. Absolutely. And in the way these rankings are determined, 
CompTIA talks to their emerging technology community and they come up with all of these. So, you know, it's a consensus. So it doesn't mean that every business has to, you know, adopt every one of these technologies or, you know, put all their dollars into them. But, you know, these are technologies for them to consider and, um, you know, figure out how they work within their own organizations. So there's, you know, it's, it, it's great information and it's a very valuable list. Yeah, most definitely. All right. Well, I know we've got a great deal uh, about all of these uh, technologies on Tech Republic and a, a lot of research and articles and videos uh, that we hope all of you will check out there. And Tina, you've got this full list, of course, on Tech Republic and uh, anything. I know you've been covering technology for a long time now. Was there anything that surprised you about it or is there anything in particular that that you are especially interested in? Well, I've been following IoT for a long time, so it was surprising to see it drop down on the list, but I was excited to see AI take the number one spot because there are so many applications for artificial intelligence, and it does tie into so many things that we cover on Tech Republic and that, you know, and that are important to the enterprise, so it, it will be great to see what we can write about this year and, you know, tie into that, so. Absolutely. All right. Well, we certainly appreciate you being here with us today to, to go over the list, and we hope all of you will check out that top 10 list. Again, uh, Tina's article can be found on Tech Republic. Thanks so much for watching.